toward the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the what? East and washes and they worship the what? The sun toward the what? East. Watch this now. Because of their abominable act of worshiping the sun, God turns his back upon his people. Listen carefully. Even though God has blessed the United States in a very profound way, there is coming a time when every single person, because the gospel will be shared throughout the world before the end of time, that every true believer will come to know the true Sabbath day. Amen. And we are very nearly upon that time with the active media in place where the message can be spread throughout every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. People alarmingly are knowing and understanding the Sabbath. I have bumped into so many people, even, even this week, as I was knocking on doors and we were going from door to door talking with people, it was surprising the number of people who knew that the Sabbath was Saturday and not Sunday. And the time, I believe, where the cup is almost full, is right upon us. People know the truth. And when every heart has made its final decision, judgment will fall. The day that is given in commemoration of the worship of sun is what day? Sunday. Sunday. When this nation has reached its climate, where every person who knows the truth to keep the Sabbath rejects that truth, then will come the time where God's judgment will fall. And beloved, we are so close to that time. But not only did they turn their backs against God by worshiping the sun, but notice Deuteronomy helps us to understand what abomination, another meaning or definition of abomination is. Deuteronomy 7 verse 25. If you have your Bibles, please turn there with me. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 25. Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. And verse 25. And when you have it, please say amen. amen. Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, and verse 25. And the graven images of their what? God shall you do what? Burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be a snare therein. For it is a what, everyone? Abomination to the Lord. Notice carefully, God says and refers to idolatry as what? An abomination. Israel was guilty of not only worshiping the sun, but committing all kinds of acts of idolatry. We have reached the place in our society where men and women of all types and orders are committing idolatry and we worship some of the, we even worship America and have a show titled by it, American Idol. We are in so much idolatry and God is going to cause judgment to fall because we have chosen to worship everything but the true and living God. I want to share this with you and I want to say this for those who are visiting, this is not to be a judgment against you at all. I'm speaking specifically to Seventh-day Adventists. But it would give heed for all of us to hear what the Lord says. Taken from fourth volume of the Testimonies, page 647. Be not hardened by deceitfulness of sin. Fashion. What, everybody? Fashion. Is deteriorating the intellect and eating out the spirituality of our people. Obedience to fashion is pervading our Seventh-day Adventist churches and is doing more than any other power to separate our people from God. Volume 4 of Testimonies again, page 647. I have been shown that our church's rules are very deficient. All exhibitions of pride and dress, which is forbidden in the word of God, should be sufficient reason for church discipline. Wow. She says that we should inflict church discipline if people choose to wear what they want to wear. Now I'm going to say something to you. As Seventh-day Adventists, we don't adorn our bodies with jewelry. It's strictly forbidden from the word of God. 
And as people of God, we should live simple lives. Amen. 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 In fact, notice this. This is from our own church manual. To dress plainly, abstaining from the display of jewelry and ornaments of every kind is in keeping with our faith. It is clearly taught in scripture, in the scripture, that wearing of jewelry is contrary to the will of God. The wearing of ornaments of jewelry is a bid for what everybody Attention, not in keeping with Christian self-forgetfulness. And then notice, it says in some countries and cultures where the custom of wearing the wedding ring is considered imperative, having become in, become in the minds of the people a criterion of virtue, and hence it is not regarded as an ornament under such circumstances, we do not condemn the practice. In other words, there are some countries, if they know that you're married and you're not being forthright with that, you will kill your ministry. Okay? But that is not here in the United States. Amen. First Peter 3 and verse 3, who's adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of the plaiting of hair and the wearing of gold or the putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, even the ornament of a quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, not with broidered hair or gold or pearl, pearls or costly array. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewelry. But not only would God, because of their idolatry, would he bring judgment but because also they polluted the secret place. 